Alright guys, guess what game we are playing today. I didn't show the title sequence, so we're gonna make you guess anyways. It is Dirt 3. Let me start bitching real quick. Dirt... The series is a, um... Dirt is a dirt racing game. It's like a rally racing game. It is a rally racing game. You use different cars and you've got to overcome obstacles and whatnot with your vehicle, you know, because people like that shit. People do. It's a fun game. I like it. I watch it sometimes on YouTube whenever I get a chance. Um, the reason why I'm doing this one and not Dirt Showdown is because Dirt Showdown does not have a cockpit view. We will discuss what that is in a second, if you guys do not know. I'm running this game on the highest settings at 5760 by 1080 and let's go ahead and see how it looks. Um, I put the assists on intermediate. I'm not that good of a driver for these games, you know. Uh, I would bust out the wheel, but I feel like I'll do a whole lot worse with it like I usually do. Right now we're doing the tra time travel, uh, sorry, time travel, what the f- Time trial rally in Finland, uh, Tupa Senti on Pro or something like that. I mean, like, because we're using the Pro vehicle. And, uh, <clears throat> let me just show you. see how pretty this game looks. This is a pretty looking game. 
and it's really well optimized. I'm using 17970 to get this set up and frames and whatnot, you know. And right now, I think you get um, a graphics card of this strength for like $300, you know. Just plop that into your computer if it's strong enough already, and there, massive upgrade. <laughs> Um, we'll pick a different level. One thing I'd like to bring up is Codemasters decided that they did not, they didn't want to implement resources in time into putting a cockpit view in Grid 2 and in Dirt Showdown. I mean, when I found out about this, I was just astonished as to why they would do that, you know? It doesn't make any sense to me. If you create a game like this, why not go the whole way? Why not go the whole way? And then they said it's because of the resources of the console and stuff like that. So because of console, the, the PC players of those games do not get the cockpit view. And there's no real way to mod that into the game. So... I don't know, I'll just keep playing Dirt 2 and Grid 1, I mean, sorry, Dirt 3 and Grid 1, I'm not gonna, I have a Grid Showdown, I mean, shit, Dirt Showdown, but, you know, it, it's boring compared to this, because there's no cockpit view, I don't want to see the car from behind, I got three screens, I want to see the interior and everything, you know, it looks great. And that's why I like it. If it, 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 it enhances the immersion for a racing game. I don't like seeing it from the back because then my mind doesn't calculate what time I have to make the turn and whatnot. It doesn't calculate it properly because I'm not used to that. I'm used to this, I'm guessing you could say sort of like a simulation of what's going on instead of, you know, lighthouse view. I prefer the cockpit view over any other view in a video game. Hell, even in Grand Theft Auto 4, well, Grand Theft Auto 4 doesn't have a cockpit view as that front view, you know, but I still play with that a lot when I'm playing in Infinity, you know? I think I showed that off in uh, one of my videos using the cockpit view, and uh, it looks great. Hell, I can't wait for Grand Theft Auto 5 to come on PC so I can play it some more, and hopefully they added a cockpit view for Grand Theft Auto 5. And if they didn't, well, with the Grand Theft Auto series, it's moddable. I mean, you've seen uh, Master Chief uh, and uh, characters from other games inside Grand Theft Auto 4 on the PC version because people mod that stuff in. So, Grand Theft Auto 5, of course, will be modif modifiable because um, it's the same engine as Grand Theft Auto 4. So yeah, there are going to be mods when it comes out and whatnot. It may take a while, but that's how it works. This game's so pretty. Yeah, we're gonna use the same car. I think. Of course, of co they're gonna talk. Oh my god, they're gonna throw that at me. Okay. If you hit this button, it allows you to do like a little replay sort of thing if you mess up, you know? Let's just say I messed up already. So let's go all the way back to where I messed up. There 
and we're gonna oh if you wanna like do like look arounds like that screenshots which makes no sense because they put the top and bottom bars oh my god why developers why you do this okay no that's not what I wanted to do whatever I don't want to do it I didn't mess up but you could uh, go back a couple of not you know um, you could time travel back in time and fix your problems, thus creating a butterfly effect later on in your life as a race car driver. Well, no, it doesn't work like that, but I wish it did, actually. <laughs> Oops. You know, instead of being a statistic as to you actually use the replay, um... They should penalize you for it somehow, you know? Um, let's do something else. Do something. Make side. Huh. You need to purchase this vehicle from the live marketplace. What? Nah. Deal with it. I'm gonna deal with it. Who will answer? Told you this game was pretty. Oh, crap, a snow level. Oh, no. Considering it snowed in San Antonio today, we might as well do a snow level. Crap. Oh, what am I doing? Broke the glass, look at that. girlfriend who's sitting right next to you, you're on the wheel and everything, and she wants to micromanage everything you do at the wheel. Uh, for instance, you know, you're like making a left turn, and apparently your left turn is not good enough, so she's got a bitch about how you press on the gas, and you, how you press on the brakes, and how you, you know, oh dear god, that is... If I would have to pick a stressor in my life that I would like to remove, it would be that. Because every single time I used to drive with, you know, she's my ex now, but uh, every single time I drove and she was sitting next to me, oh dear God, she would never shut her mouth about it, you know? I mean, if I had a guy friend who did the same thing, I'd still be pissed off at him. It doesn't... If you are in the passenger seat, you are to shut the hell up about the person who's driving next to him, you know? That's how it works. Because if you distract the driver, both of you are going to be in a lot of shit. Imagine this game. If you have the... Oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, what the hell? Actually, I want to see a replay of that. Let's see what I did wrong, guys. See, YouTube is distracting me. And see, that, that, this is an example of what would happen if you were not paying attention to the road and you were too busy paying attention to the person who's bitching at your fucking driving. 
This is what would happen. This right here. You would get a lot of that. See that? Let me let me just replay it for you guys one more time. This is what would happen. That is why you ignore the passenger as much as possible. So this sort of accident does not occur. I'm abusing this. Fuck it. I am abusing this. These graphics are pretty though, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Look at those snow particles, man. Oh my. We Look at that. Look at those particles. See those particles? Oh. And how they float onto the other screen and everything. That's really cool. Okay, back to this. Oh, that's not my proper view. I like the views in this game, though. They're really, really done. The field of view for the... For the uh, car and whatnot is perfect to what I need for multi-monitor. It just works nice. It works perfectly for what I need. I don't have to modify the game in any way, shape, or form. And the game is made by Codemasters, so of course they know what they're doing because they are, in fact, Codemasters. Ironically, they name, I mean, not ironically, coincidentally, they named their company Codemasters because apparently they have a bunch of Codemasters on the team. I mean, I'm running this game at highest settings on one card and getting maybe 60 frames. Not sure if 60, but whatever, it feels smooth, like butter. It feels like someone put margarine into my graphics card and overclocked it. And you know what? That'd be pretty cool. My room would smell like popcorn all the time. Except my graphics card might break. Which would be lame. Hopefully I got a a second one on my tax return. And one thing I really gotta talk about on my channel is Mantle, so I'll get to that maybe in my next video. What is this, just continuously repeating itself or something? I'm guessing that mode is just to, uh... Up your driving skills or something. And I was doing better the second and third one, except for the third run, I... Well... Yeah, it was suggestive on, on every single one of my runs. I think that was the Norway level, actually. Oh no, Aspen. The Norway levels are difficult, man. And there's even levels I can't even pronounce, like... Paul Srud Vegan and... Ass to Vegan. Amar Descent. Okay, I could say that. Let's just do that level because I can actually say it, you know. I am in no way Norwegian. I have like two Norwegian friends, but I am no way Norwegian. Oh, also, Starbucks has refillable coffee mugs. See? It's not really a mug, but it's really cool. So whenever you put coffee in it, what I do is I put a... Um, coffee up to here and then soy milk, the vanilla one, up to here and then mix it in a little bit so it can froth and it tastes like a cappuccino. But this thing was only a dollar at Starbucks. You even got the Starbucks logo and it actually feels like the Starbucks cup because of the texture they put onto it. Let's see if that cup's in the way. What if I were to be advertising the cup and just leaving it there the entire race? Oh, it's not in the way? Okay, I'll just put it there. Kind of a dick move, don't you think? Okay, more snow levels. Oh crap, this one's gonna be hard. Watch me crash within the first minute. Son of a bitch. I love this game. It's so much fun. Do you understand the... When I first actually booted this game up, well, the first, I'd say, Dirt game was Dirt 2 that I played, you know? And it was only a demo. I played the demo, I liked it, but I never got a chance to buy it. 
Now my friend got me this game on Valentine's Day, this Humble Bundle. You know, he got me like eight games for six dollars because of, you know, the Humble Bundle that was going on. Um, and he told me Happy Valentine's Day, and I said, man, you didn't even say no homo. <laughs> kind of a silly thing to happen, but anyways. This game, when I first booted it up, I was like, them graphics. And then when I actually started driving it, you know, messing with the, actually driving the cars and whatnot, oh man, my jaw dropped because it felt, ah, oh shit. It felt, this game feels good. It actually feels like a legitimate racing game that you would actually plop money into just to have this sort of experience. And considering that multi-monitor gaming has gotten so cheap over the years, all you need is one seven nine seventy, which is you can get like a an R ninety, uh, sorry, uh, R nine two eighty X, which is pretty much the same thing, rehashed seven nine seventy, for only three hundred dollars. And each of the screens for me was only like one hundred twenty dollars with rebates implied, you know. I mean, without the rebates, it's like, uh, without the rebates, they were like $150 each, but then you get $30 of that back per screen, you know? So, it, it's never a, that you get your money back. It's simple as that. Whenever you build your computer, sometimes you actually get money back from whatever, too, you know? From other things. Wait, what about hills? Moanda, Taita Hills. Oh, these hills better not be tight or else that would be a bad pun, fuckers. Because you know the, the levels. The route is called Taita Hills. I don't have to explain myself. I don't. I, I don't have to explain myself. You can do that in the menu though. You can scroll in and out like that. Oh, look at the people on the mountain right here. Isn't that anything? This looks like a level from Bad Company 2. It does look like a level from Bad Company 2. It's not Bad Company 1. Bad Company 1 was a good game. I don't see why that they didn't make that on PC. Guys, what the hell? There's a person right next to me. See that? What if that person was nagging at you the entire time? Instead of, you know, I know the person is explaining to you the entire route where you gotta go and whatnot. But what if that person was yelling at you the entire time, telling you that you're a bad driver, that we should switch positions in the driver's seat? That would be annoying. It would be. Especially if it's your car, you know. That would be pretty fucking awful. You know, I'm really gonna vent on that. I'm gonna vent on that. That shit is the worst thing when you're driving. It's not the people who are making two abrupt stops when you're driving. That doesn't piss you off. It's not that you can't find a good radio station or your cell phone's dying or that your cell phone crashed when you're actually driving the car. It isn't that. It is the person next to you in the passenger seat who could stress you out the most by doing anything. So I remember um, when my when one of my girlfriends, you know, she's my ex now, but uh, she actually, I let her drive the car, you know? And so what I started doing was, I said, you know what? You remember those couple of times when you were pissing me off when I was in the driver's seat, you know? I started changing the radio station to stuff that she didn't like. And then I started turning on the blinkers and whatnot. And I did every single thing possible to piss her off. And oh boy, did she become fucking livid. It was funny as hell from my perspective. Although we could have crashed a car, it was still funny as hell. Screw it, it was funny as hell. 
Okay, we never touched up on the, uh, how the... I'm not even gonna bother with multiplayer. We all know how multiplayer racing games work. You drive against other competitors online, yada yada, and yeah, it, it does, I, I don't really gotta explain that. I don't. The, this I have to explain. Pretty much, you go through the campaign, you try to unlock all these, uh, conspicuous Illuminati symbols. Oh, we are not doing this right now. Um, it looks like a Triforce though. Look at that. See? You got that. Nintendo should sue for that. But anyways, you do this part, the Alpine Stars Trophy, and then you unlock this one right here, and then you unlock that one, then you do that one. And then you continue process through the entire thing, and then you win the game. But per one of these, it's not one level. It's like four levels. You don't have to do them all to unlock the next triangle, you know? But, uh... Highly recommend you do it because it really adds to the to the gameplay, you know. You get to choose uh, what kind of cars you get to use, depending on what level you are. And uh, we'll go with this one. And then you just do the levels. But this, you pretty much race against other people, oh, you know. I think. Hey, you wanna go? Huh? Yeah, you race against other people, but they start at different times. But pretty much this is who gets the best time. It's not actually who goes in front, you know? So let's try this out real quick. I'm pretty sure I'm going to crash like I did last time with these. This is the first level. Look at this crap. Look at this. They didn't give me a tutorial or anything. The, the other cars don't even get in your way, though. I'm sure there are actual races in this game, but this is like the first level, so, uh, you know. Oh shit, I almost, almost jacked up right there. What the hell was that? Oh, no. Recover. Shit, 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 oh no, flooded my vehicle, they should have just forced me to restart the entire race because of that, I think they, depending on what level difficulty you're playing on, you actually have to restart the level if you do that, I think that's how it works. Oh, seventh place. That was awful. Oh. Because I flew into that set of trees and shit. Damn you, video games. Damn you. Okay. So you can tell my name is Jordan Castro. See, it even says it right there. It, that's seriously my name. I do more affinity videos. I've been doing vocal covers on YouTube for a while. I haven't been doing many guitar videos because I'm stocking up on music equipment. So I just want to wait till I do that. I have more videos on my YouTube channel, so feel free to subscribe and then look around and, you know, on my channel I got a lot more content and whatnot. I mean, usually I don't bitch about my previous driving experiences, but whatever. It fits.